today I would like to show you uh, how to make something that people might think it's very complicated, but it's not. I have decided to make the Biff Wellington. It's an English thing. I will, of course, put something different maybe to make it more me, but I will respect the um, original uh, recipe anyways. So what you need is a roast beef, a nice one, a good one, good meat. You will need mustard, so you can have the Amora, the, the mustard, or Dijon. I took one with uh, uh, the honey because I really like the mustard with honey. It makes it um, a little bit, a taste of, um, not sugar, but it makes it softer. Um, I also found this beautiful um, garlic, black garlic cream in Spain. Uh, where I was. Good. Mushrooms, some meat. I'm using, uh, again, I don't use much pork. You can use pork. Uh, I'm using uh, uh, beef um, to do all around and you will need pastry too. Just roll. So my meat is inside and I just rolled it for about, let's say, five minutes. You really want it to be cooked all over in the outside. Now that it's ready, I'm going to take it out and start preparing my beef wellington. Okay, next step will be to what we call in French badigeonner. I am going to put my mustard all around it. My little touch, my um, oops, <laughs> black garlic. For my next step, I will need to uh, wrap up my roast beef and I will put it in the fridge. I don't know if you have noticed, but today I'm being hosted in a different place than Chateau Malone. I am in the Abbey de Varennes, which is 15 minutes. 20 minutes from Chateau d'Alon, we're still in the region of the Berry. The Abbey de Varennes was bought by my friend uh, Anne de Varennes. She's a painter and antiquities dealer, used to be in the States. And today she's hosting me here. I'm cooking for eight people. It's, the garlic is from the garden. Once the oil is hot, I'm going to put my uh, mushroom uh, mixer and I'm going to let it take out the water. has to take out the water because if you have too much water, your pastry after will take the water and it won't become uh, crispy. And as soon as it will be dry, I will take it off and I will let it cool down on the plate in order to make my assembling later. Okay, Dan, next part. Now, are you tired? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I will talk less. <laughs> I'm going to put my meat, uh, mushrooms, the meat, roll it all up really carefully, and I can put it like for 10 minutes in the fridge so that the pastry will get firm again in order to put it in my oven. Now that I have wrapped it, I'm going to put it for like 10 minutes in the fridge and then I will put the pastry and uh, roll this into the pastry. Now, I'm using two pastries since I want it to be really Close because don't forget that in the oven it will get smaller. No brush, just like in the pate pack video. I'm so sorry, but I don't know why people don't have brushes. Anyways, you don't need it. I'm just using this. <laughs>
Here, Cordelia. Put it in. One hundred and eighty, almost two hundred thermostat, and you leave it for like half an hour. I suggest you to make a puree, uh, mash potatoes, sweet potatoes, or potatoes with carrots, because the sweet taste will always make the meat better. You can make it with an egg or butter, or as Dan says, butter. 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 <laughs> the proper Can way. <laughs> butter. Get my little helper. Mm -hmm. Hi. Nut mug? Yes. Nut? Nut meg. Meg. Nut meg. Muscade. Noix de muscade in French. Mmm, yummy. Say when. When? <laughs> okay. Voila. Oh, it's dripping like hell. Perfect. Bon appétit.